Hello my friends! This time, we will continue the tutorial from yesterday. You can check the previous video in the comments section. So after you create an account on Realm, you will need a Node.js environment to proceed with this. For example, I will use Node.js on WSL Ubuntu. Make sure Node.js and NPM or PNPM are already installed on your system. If it's already installed, create a new Vite project using NPM. You are free to name it whatever you want. For example, I will name IT Walletist. For the framework, choose React. For the variant, choose JavaScript. Once it's done, go to the directory of your Vite project. Then install the Vite dependencies in your directory first. From here, you will wait a very long time depending on your connection and system speed. Once it's done, try to run your Vite server to make sure everything is working smoothly. Open the Vite server in your browser with the provided URL. If the display looks like this, then Vite has been successfully installed. Okay, once everything is good, go back to the Realm dashboard and install all the required dependencies using NPM or PNPM. Here, you will also wait a long time, so please be patient. Once all the necessary installations are complete, you can use ls to check the folder. There should be an index HTML file inside your V folder. Next, we will use MC to navigate the folder easily. We will go to the SRC folder and create a MI and JS file inside IT. I will use the micro editor here. Just click done and you will be provided with the main JS file. But just the JS file won't be enough here. We will also need the index.html file. You can get the HTML file on the Realm documentation page. But here, we will take the JS configuration first. You need to replace this project ID with yours from the Realm dashboard. Just click to copy to clipboard. Now replace project underscore ID with yours. Save the file and switch to index HTML in the root folder of your V project. Open the index.html file and delete everything inside it. Open the documentation page and scroll down until you find the HTML file. Copy the code and paste it into your editor. Don't forget to change the script source because main JS is in the SRC folder. Save it and try to run your Vite server. Access the URL provided. If the connect button and the network appear, it means everything is installed correctly. If you click the button, a pop-up will appear showing the available wallets. Make sure the QR code appears when you try to connect like this. If you try to connect with your wallet, make sure it can connect successfully. But if there are any issues, you can open a question on GitHub or in the comments section. 
Okay, that's a good question. If you want to change the network you want to use, go to main.js and change the network you want. In general, you will find the Ethereum and Arbitrum networks. You can change that, for example, I will change it to Mantle. Change all the necessary ones. Save it and run the server again. Go to the browser and check if the network has been changed. If the network has changed, it means it has been successful. Okay, I will try to connect my wallet as proof. And yes, it works well. It shows my wallet address and the amount of mantle I have even though it's empty. I'm not sure about the swap, but what I know is that you need to verify your project first. So, was the tutorial useful? If it was helpful, subscribe and like it. Thanks for watching.